Hi lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This one is going to be a special one. I hope you enjoy it. First and foremost, do subscribe to the channel so you get to know when I upload a new video, which is very often apparently now. Um, this, I said, was special because this is a skincare haul, something that you guys have been wanting me to do for quite some time and I've just not got around to doing it. But since I traveled to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and Taipei, Taiwan, I did a major shopping spree for mainly skincare and I wanted to share that with you because a lot of it is very, very special. Um, the trend on TikTok and Instagram has been towards Japanese skincare as of late and there were a lot of uh, products that I found interesting. So I have been to Japan and the skin in Japan is incredible, much like you know, girl skin in Korea. So I was interested to know what the Japanese use for their skincare. So when the trend happened and they were actually specifically recommending products, that was my time to try it out. So when I was in Taiwan, um, yes, the Korean skincare that I'm used to, they weren't very readily available. And one of the other things that weren't readily available um, are some of the cosmetics brands that I'm used to and that I use and even if they were available the colors and the tones that we use for brown skin, olive skin, tan skin were not available pretty much at all. So um, this pushed me to discover new brands which is good but there were a lot of limitations as well as to what we could possibly buy and find. A lot of the more high-end brands were very very expensive um, in Taiwan I found, I don't know why. I didn't do a lot of shopping for skincare in Malaysia because I was only there for a very short period of time and I didn't want to waste that sort of you know browsing for makeup and skincare which takes me hours to do. So anyway, long story short, long story long, we are going to actually get into it. There's a lot of products to get through and with Japanese skincare, the thing is I'm not going to be pronouncing most of it right because honestly I don't know and a lot of the font is in Japanese itself so it's a little bit difficult but we are going to try and what I did when I was trying to buy these products off of you know TikTok or Instagram recommendations was that I just followed the bottle. So I just followed the images, okay? So maybe let's start with cleansers just to have some form of you know method or it might just be madness, let's see. Um, this is something I use a lot and this is my very regular salicylic acid daily gentle cleanser by Corsex, I think. Is it, is it is it yes corsex okay again i might be saying this name wrong and this i bought in a smaller size because i wanted a travel size and i feel like i'm always carrying like big um chunky bottles everywhere it's very heavy so this was perfect for travel especially when i go on shoots so this is why i picked it up this is very good for my skin which has like closed comedones a lot of the time because of the heat here in sri lanka as well as the humidity so there's a lot of pores that get clogged and they're not being they're just under the skin like little bumps some of you may have experienced that or may be experiencing it so salicylic acid um, is very good for sort of um, clearing that up or cleansers um, moisturizers with salicylic acid is recommended so that's why I use this then I also came across this this actually I picked up in Malaysia which is um, this Aiken Derma Care. Um, this is an ultra light brightening vitamin gel lotion. Did I just skip the lotions? But okay, you know what? I don't care. I thought this was a cleanser. We do have a cleanser in this brand. This brand is French. It's new to me. I've never tried it before, but the pharmacist did recommend this. So we are going to go and try it out. So I bought, did I buy? I think I bought a couple of these because I wanted one for my mom as well. So this is. Uh, going to be interesting to try. Then we have the same brand Aiken Demacare um, cleanser which is this one here. This again is a deep cleansing oil control which is perfect for my oily skin. So since it was pharmacy recommended I have high hopes so let's see. So this is the Aiken Demacare cleanser that I bought. Okay. Then do we have any other cleansers? I think we do. We have quite a lot of cleansers. Okay, so when it comes to J Beauty or Japanese um, skincare, we have this. The Perfect Whip by Senka is apparently 
more for acne care it says acne care so even if you don't have like active acne um, I tend to use acne care products sometimes just because it's very preventative in its nature rather than waiting for like major breakout and then using acne care so this is something I really love for that again first time trying it so let's see it's very high hopes so next in the space of cleansers and you know things that actually cleanse your skin um, we have soaps as well i picked this up from 7-eleven actually in taiwan in taipei this is the koji sun skin lightening soap which is um supposed to be really good for like um suntan and things like that this is again japanese so i bought two of these um with hopes that my really easily pigmented skin will have a breakthrough so this is uh good i have been trying this actually ever since i got back and it is pretty good i think this has kojic acid if i'm not wrong so yeah this is for even skin tone uh 7-eleven speaking of 7-eleven they also have a lot of um contact lenses in 7-eleven in taiwan which i found was really uh interesting and also this is amazing very convenient so i did pick up contact lenses because i do need prescription glasses so that means i also need prescription contact lenses and these i just bought at the pharmacy maybe guardian if i'm not wrong or one of the local taiwanese ones but 7-eleven also has um, lenses in taiwan so that's amazing okay so on to do i have any more cleansers no i don't think i have any more cleansers but i do have i do have a toner so this particular one is french if i'm not wrong um it says eau de carmen again my french is not the best uh, this is something you kind of just shake before use i haven't used it yet um so it's kind of like that and uh, it gets like a very milky consistency and apparently it's really really good for your skin so i picked this up um this was at watson's if i'm not wrong and i did google it beforehand and like very highly recommended so yeah interesting product very heavy to carry so i've made like a lot of weight investment on this let's see if that works out so when it comes to japanese skincare the brand hada lobo is very popular and is sort of trending at the moment so i had to try these products and i think some of them are supposed to be like in the toner category but it's a little bit of a mix between a toner and a serum so it's stretchy so it's not quite as um watery as a toner and it's not as um thick in its consistency as a serum so it's kind of in between so this is the product that i want to try the one that's going viral at the moment so this is like a toner basically so i do have to research before i actually start using this product which i haven't started yet um then this one i believe is um again like a more intense version of it or like in the moisturizer category so um same brand same color so i'm guessing they kind of go together so this was very difficult for me to figure out it literally took hours at the pharmacy or at watson's just sitting there trying to figure this out just because um the instructions are not very clear it's all in japanese so yeah it wasn't the easiest but you know again high hopes same brand Hada logo we have this which is um, definitely a moisturizer yeah it is I think um, definitely a moisturizer I think but this one um, is again quite highly recommended so worth a shot I feel um, this is a moisturizer then in the moisturizer space I did come across this good old Vaseline so I ran out of body cream while I was in Malaysia so I needed something and this one by Vaseline was very interesting to me so I don't really use Vaseline that often um, I felt like this was interesting because it had glutathione and I'd never seen this product before so um, 10 times more powerful than vitamin C it says okay well I'm a fan of vitamin C so I was like all right this we're getting got a couple of them just in case very um, heavy so you know hope it pays off this is that so in the skin cream zone we also have this which is um, by Vaseline again um, something that I haven't really come across before this is also from 
KL that I bought. It has niacinamide and vitamin C and E, which I thought was really good and bought this um, for the body. For my face skin, um, I use different sun cream and for the body, I use different sun cream. And usually I tend to buy, obviously, a more mainstream brand for the body because um, the one I use for the face or the brands I use for the face are very expensive. And if I use it for the body, I'll run out in like a week. So just trying to be practical and getting like bigger bottles. And Vaseline's always been trusty, but this particular um, formulation or um, ingredients are very interesting to me and i haven't come across it before which goes um, for the glutathione as well so yeah definitely going to be using this a lot so another sun cream that's really popular at the moment and going viral is the senka this particular blue one um, it's supposed to be very uh, good in terms of not leaving a white cast uh, not being greasy so this is right up my alley with my oily skin so i was very happy to try this out um, there's another one that was very popular and highly recommended as well, which I'll talk about uh, a little more because this particular brand that I came across, it's H-E-M-E, uh, -E, um, Heme, Hem, I don't know, um, but this one um, is also a SPF 50 sunscreen gel and the consistency is very light and very airy so it's not going to clog your pores which is a major concern for me so this is something i tried and this particular brand had makeup as well yes it's very much more focused on their kind of skin tone um, but there were a couple of products that i found interesting for myself as well one i got was a concealer and if i can get that open I'm opening this for the first time but I did try it on before buying so it's a very creamy consistency it melts into your skin you can't see it I love their packaging and I think this is a Taiwanese brand from my research so I was very interested to see what the quality of their products are and when I tried it on at the store it was really really great so uh, very exciting so very good product find happy with that brand same brand i also got a blush um, i don't really buy makeup anymore on my travels because i just have so many of them and i don't think i can get through them in my lifetime there's a lot but i was on the lookout for a blush um, in a very sort of subtle nudie brownie color and this is the colorway and it's called tender apricot i love that apricot kind of color on my skin tone i used to have one by bobby brand and they discontinued it i think it was called almond if i'm not wrong and um this kind of felt really similar to it i haven't used it yet but i did try it on at the store and it was great so one of the biggest challenges for me while traveling to kuala lumpur and taiwan especially in taiwan is finding a uh, foundation or a BB cream. I had a BB cream on my list uh, of things that I needed to buy but I could not for the life of me find one but I did uh, I did search a lot and I found a foundation that was kind of um, good. I have foundation so I didn't really need one um, but because I was sad that I couldn't find a BB cream I decided that I was going to get this one. This is called I don't know but it's called, from a brand called Media and um, it's a cute kind of tub-like thing. I just thought that this size and this packaging was good for just travel and that was one of the main reasons why I bought it. Um, and the color is very sort of yellowy um, and it's creamy without being heavy. So this was a perfect formulation for me. I don't know, it was really disappointing not being able to find like, um, foundations and base products for my skin tone but also kind of expected isn't it um another product that i found i almost missed showing you guys is this one here the aqua label um this one is again uh like a balm type moisturizer i felt like the consistency of this was very like tatcha reminiscent um and this i mean obviously the packaging is really cute as well so it's very um gel-like and lightweight still intense and hydrating if that makes sense so this one is one of my top faves to try out um, again well. in taiwan we got a little bit lucky in one of the store watson's i think 
and um, found this one by Maybelline because I was on the lookout for a powder as well and this one's the super stay one obviously it's a powder foundation haven't tried this before ever I'm hoping um, I can use it as a powder um, I don't know how it's going to be used as a foundation I will find out though so you know I'm not an expert I'm just sort of um, winging it when it comes to some products some of it I know uh, like an expert some of it complete numbers all right another product that I always always buy when I go overseas is a dry shampoo and I usually stick to Batiste because they're the right, best so while I was recording this video my phone did overheat and decide not to do anything anymore and just froze so this is my second attempt at the last last bit of the video um, we were talking about the Batiste um, dry shampoo I use it because it's one of the best or at least um, for me definitely in the top three brands that I've tried um, the other ones I don't really have access to because they're from Australia and very sort of um, store specific brands um, but Batiste is pretty much available in most of the countries that I travel to so I picked this up actually I picked a couple of them up because I do go through them quite fast um, so I feel like that's the entire haul guys I hope this helped uh, like I said I haven't used most of these products yet so I'll be doing uh, a review or recommendation um, video later on or please feel free to ask me on Instagram or in the comment section here what you want to know uh, when I start using it but for now that's it and I hope you guys enjoyed it please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again in my next video stay safe till then bye bye